She said, I only knew to pick them up because of you. Yeah, I did a video a long, long time ago. She's been following my channel for a long time where I found this at a thrift store. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am gonna share with you some big money bolos. I am featuring an eBay store. And what I love about this store is there are a lot of items that I would have walked past. And I think these types of videos are super educational to help me and all of you learn different items to be on the lookout for. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, so we are looking at Lola's Trunk Treasures. And this is her eBay store. And we're gonna talk about this at the end of the video. It's pretty incredible. And look at all of these Christmas items, Christmas and Halloween guys. Be sure to bookmark her show. I do have it linked down in the description of the video. So you can go down there and you can click on that and you can give her a follow by clicking on the heart. So to do these videos, they have to send me all of the information for the items. So really appreciate them taking the time out of their day to do that for us, to help us learn. The first item, actually, we're going to talk about this first. Sorry. I was thinking I had it at the end. She said, Quirkle replacement tiles. I usually pick up the game for 3 to $5. Each game should come with 108 tiles. And after fees, my profit is just over a dollar each. I've sold over 150 tiles to date and just update the quantities when I pick them up. So she'll pick up a game. Just a second here. All right, just wanted to make sure we were on screen sharing. She'll pick up a game and let's say, you know, I don't know how many of each tile is in there, maybe three, four of each. So then she just goes in and updates these, the shapes and the colors and the quantity. And then they just sell over and over and over again. Replacement parts. You can make money on replacement parts. She creates one listing and just updates the listing. That's it. That's all she does. Easy peasy, right? She's got all the shapes. And then you select the color that you want. And there you go. The next one is this Mattel 2018 Poly Pocket Lot of 16 Compact Mini Playset Plus Poly Figures. Pick these up in a bag of toys at the Goodwill, paid $3 and sold the lot for a best offer of $40. Now, I don't think these are the super old ones. They are, yeah, nope, they're 2018. You can still sell these, but the ones you're looking for are the vintage Polly Pocket. Some of those can go for crazy big money. But she's definitely showing us that there is value in the 2018 models. Eileen West. This is a nightgown, and this is what it looks like here. Here's your pattern. And here is the full-length photo. Got this at the Goodwill for $6. Sold twice, and both buyers canceled before paying Third time is a charm. Buyer paid $46.42. You gotta love it when they cancel the orders. This is a Z-Man Games 2013 Terra Mystica strategy board game. And she got this at the Goodwill for $5 and sold it for $34.99. So some board games can go for big money. A lot of times I skip the board games because I don't want to make sure that all of the pieces are there. I mean, look at that. You have to check everything, everything. And a lot of times people will buy these games and they will part them out for that reason. Sponge Bob's Very Grown Up Coloring Book. Got this at the Goodwill for $3. And it, I'm sorry, an international buyer was all in for $57.68 for a coloring book, friends. A coloring book. SpongeBob. These are three feisty pets, gray husky, white polar bear, orange tabby cat, squeeze head. Oh, look at them. You squeeze the head and their mouth opens and they get mean. Oh my goodness. Ah, those are kind of creepy. Wow, wow, wow. Paid nine for all three at the Goodwill and sold for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. Those are crazy looking. David Winter Collectible Whispers Cottage with Box and COA, Certificate of Authenticity. 
And she got this, purchased about 20 of these David Winter Cottages from the Goodwill, paid six to 12 each. And this was my last one. Took a year, buyer was all in for $47.59. Pottery Barn Kids Curtains Drapes Blackout Pink Polka Dot. So blackout probably means it blocks the light. Goodwill $8 sold for a best offer of 30 plus shipping. This is a Fitbit Versa 2 smartwatch aluminum, 50 meters black steel link band. Zero cost in for me as it belonged to her son. Buyer was all in for $51.74 after store promo. This is a San Diego, I'm sorry, San Diego Padres 2002 Coca-Cola collector puzzle pin set frame with five pins. Ah, so they all connect together. How interesting is that? Have you guys seen something like that before? Wow. Huh. It's a puzzle pin. It's a puzzle pin. Wow. $8 at the Goodwill. Buyer was all in for $53.99. And that includes shipping and tax and um, what they paid for the item. This next item is a Pearson's, I got to find it, World History uh, curbside. She found it curbside and sold it for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. It's a student textbook and teacher's edition. So did I hear that you can't sell teacher's editions? I feel like I heard that. I don't know if it's just for... Um, certain things. I feel like it was in one of the policy violation bureau videos, but I could be wrong. If anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments. I mean, hers obviously did not get pulled. So maybe it has to do with like certain grades. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Physics for scientists and engineers. A strategic approach, another curbside pickup and buyer was all in for 60 after promo and discount. Goosebumps DVD Lot of 12 Spooktacular 90s Scholastic Titles R.L. Stein. So these are the DVDs. She said, not one of my better returns. Uh, um, she So she probably paid more than she had hoped. Paid $2 each and sold for a best offer of $53.99. So yeah, she's got about $24 in this, but still made a nice profit, just not as high. You know, this is something we're like, oh, we'd like to buy it for five and sell it for 50 not 24 and sell it for 50. That's what she means. Return on investment. Build a bear cat pink sunshine. Hello Kitty Sanrio 18 inch stuffed plush. It is a build a bear paid $6 at the Goodwill and sold in less than 72 hours with store promo. Buyer was all in for $57. This next item is a Husqvarna Viking designer embroidery mega hoop. And this one she got at the Goodwill for $5. Buyer used her promo and was all in for $62.62. Amazon original set of 10 hardcover books. The Kicks by Olympian Alex Morgan. This one came from the Goodwill. She paid $15 for it and took a best offer of $45. Um, I know that I typically leave books behind. I will pick up sets like this from time to time if they comp out well. I think selling in sets and bundles is the way to go for me personally. I know a lot of people really, really do amazing with books. Let me know down in the comments, what was your best ever book sale? Elevate Science Course, second grade student textbook plus teacher edition. This one, she got curbside pickup for free. Buyer used store promo, got 15% off. They were all in for $63.25. Gorgeous carrot. Huh. Never heard of that. Let's see if we can find this one. I think it's on my next sheet here. Storage unit. International buyer accepted best offer of oh no there's some, um my little uh arrow is blocking what it sold for 
So I don't know. It's something that ends in a nine. So I apologize on that one. I can't read it. Rare OOP Anime Masquerade. This is what it looks like. It looks like it is complete series, all four episodes. It's a DVD. Also from the storage unit. So pennies into it sold for full asking price of $69.99 in less than 72 hours. The next item is this manga graphic novels, Eye Shield 21 by, I don't know that name, volumes one and two, Shonen Jump. I will tell you that I have not seen or heard of so many of these different things that she's selling, these books. I've never heard of any of them. I think they're anime. I have heard of the Shonen Jump because I found some magazines that I sold on whatnot. But yeah, I, it's not something I was familiar with. I can't, I just think I picked them up at a garage sale or something like that because they looked interesting. But yeah, I sold those over on Whatnot. If you guys aren't following me on Whatnot, I would love for you to come over. There is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that link to join Whatnot. So come on over and hang out, even if you don't buy anything. It's super, super duper fun. Anime full metal DVD complete set. I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. There's uh, 13 of them. It's right there in the title. Pick these up at a, in a Rubbermaid tote full of DVDs at a garage sale. Paid $20 for the tub. Sold set for $59.99. And buyer used June promo, 15% off um, of $30. So I am wondering. She keeps mentioning a promo. Let's go into the hit this item here. Do you guys like how eBay is doing this now? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I personally like seeing this better. But save up to 20% when, when you buy more. That's her coupon that's going on right now. If you guys don't know how to set up a coupon like this, I do have a coupon video that shows you different ways to do coupons. Uh, this is creating a sale. There are different things you can do, but great, great way to increase sales. Vintage Reed and Barton Sterling X739 Poirier Baby Infant Feeding Dish. It's Sterling. Paid $5 at a garage sale over a year ago. Received several lowball offers, but waited for the right one and accepted a best offer of $65. This next item is a Becca Biology God's Living Creation 10th Grade Lab Manual Teacher Student Books. Paid $8 at the Goodwill, and it sat in my money pile for over two years. Accepted a best offer of $80 plus shipping. Mentadent Advanced Whitening Anti-Cavity Fluoride Toothpaste. Refreshing mint. New old stock. She said, I only knew to pick them up because of you. Yeah, I did a video a long, long time ago. She's been following my channel for a long time where I found this at a thrift store, and mine was new old stock also. Definitely a bolo. She said paid $4 per box listed for $89.99 each and took a best offer of $240 for all three. That is great. This is a vintage 1999 Wilton cake decorating tool caddy, 70 decorating tips, bags, and more. Picked it up at the Goodwill for $8 and sold for a best offer of $87.99. All right, you guys, go down to the description. Give Lola's treasure i'm sorry lola's trunk treasures a follow by clicking on the little heart and saving her as a seller you will get updates when she posts new items you will also get any coupons she sends out to followers or past buyers if you're a past buyer thank you guys so much for being here thank you for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and share and thanks for watching